everyone, and welcome back to Amori. In the last episode, we progressed through Humphrey, saw... Actually, last episode, we saw all of the, um, sweetheart experiments. Um, none of them went well. Well, according to sweetheart, anyway. Um, and honestly, that's kind of all we did. We just made it through the dungeon, basically. Which, you know, is what you do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this time I guess we're gonna finish this up. Because, I mean, we, we've got the setup for the, the boss. So, maybe it's gonna be a three-way boss fight against, like, a bunch of sweethearts. Or maybe the witches? I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just Sweetheart again, I don't know. Um, but before we get into that, I kind of just wanted to say this before we get started. This is the the last episode that's going to go up for New Year's. In fact, I think, I think this one will go up on New Year's Eve, I think. So, I kind of just wanted to get a little bit sappy for a moment and just say like... Thank you for watching, you know? I mean, I, I know I say that at the end of episodes, but like... You know, to say this, to say this year's been big for me is oh, such an understatement. <laughs> but, no, I mean, like, seriously, though. Uh, I mean, this, this was the first year that I've recorded a new LP since I finished recording the Danganronpa stuff, which... No, actually, funnily enough, as I said last episode, it was like four, maybe even five years ago. And, you know, coming back at it with, like, the actual tech behind it. Playing two games that I've really enjoyed playing. And having, like, a... Albeit different, in each series, consistent audience as well. It's... Nice, I gotta say, you know, it's really, it, it is nice, and you, the one-off comments I get every now and then from people who, you know, don't comment that much, but, you, well, I don't know if they watch all the videos, but, you know, watch at least some of them, you know, they're really, really nice, you know, it makes me feel like, the reason I do this is... I don't know about saying paying off, but... I don't know, look. I'm quite open about this. But chances are you've never heard me say it. So I guess I'll say it now. Like, I, I do this just for... I guess the entertainment value. Part of it's like... You know... I, I like to share the experience with other people. And, yeah, that, that, that's definitely a big part of it. But, like, you know, I, I want to... I want to be someone who can, I guess, like, put a smile on at least one person's face, you know? And I... With the last two series, judging from what I've been told by people in the comments... I have actually achieved that, and that feels really nice. I, I can't eloquently describe this at all, but like, you know, I, I do get the odd comment every now and then. It's like, oh man, your silly voices sure do make my day, or man, I really liked your insight on this thing. Totally underrated, and it's like, well, you don't need to say underrated, all right? I like being small. I'd rather stay small. I mean, relatively speaking, I guess. Like, <laughs> I think saying that I am small currently is a massive understatement. Um, but, you know. Um, right, I, maybe I should have scripted this beforehand, because I, I, really <laughs> I really don't know what to say other than, you know, thank you. I just wanted to say it. This year, I mean, well, the second half of the year even has been pretty um, massive for this hobby. 
you know? I've also made this quite clear, at least in, you know, 13 Sentinels, and whether you watch that or you're watching this, you know, I, I feel like there's not much of an audience crossover. I asked this in the first couple of episodes. I feel like there's there's not really that much. Um, but, you know, I, I in 13 Sentinels, I mentioned a couple of times that, like, I don't want this to be a career <laughs> at all. I don't even ever want to make money from this. I, I just want to purely do this as a little hobby, as a little bit of entertainment for some other people. And, yeah, I, I feel like I actually managed that this year. Because I've, believe it or not, I've been doing this for nearly a decade. Uh, and this is the first year I've ever done it seriously, I guess, or, like, taken it that seriously. And it's act it's been a good six months <laughs> effectively um and it is you know as much, much as it's uh you know been on me to get back into the swing of things and i feel like i haven't fully you know it, it's kind of bizarre i feel like v3 danganronpa v3 was actually in terms of commentary probably the best let's play i've ever done um it's just a shame everything else about it is bad because i didn't have any equipment um so it's like literal hundreds of hours of not great video content with pretty decent commentary over the top which for some people is fine for some people that totally works but yeah <laughs> but no like ah. I don't know, look, okay, this is going to go on way too long if I continue talking, but it's been a pleasure. Um, thank you so much. And uh, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to continuing to do this uh, on and off for uh, the foreseeable future. Maybe not another ten years to come, mind you, but we'll see about that. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, so we're about to do a boss, right? Uh, we're about to yell as Sweetheart, probably. Maybe as the um, witches whose voices I've already forgotten. What's up, sweetheart? How's it going? Stop right there! You can't leave just yet, doll. Uh, god, which one's Molly? Yep, I've forgotten. We just want our payment, darling. Can't you see how upset Marina is getting? Yeah, I do not remember at all what voice you got. Where's my money, lady? Give me my money! Uh-oh. It's sweet on those sea witches. There's no way we're getting caught in the middle of this. Let's make a run for it. Stop right where you are, children. I must correct you, as you are sorely mistaken. We are not witches, but followers of science. It's a common mistake, I'm afraid. Humans interfere when they cannot understand. Well, we actually had this discussion about science and magic last episode, funnily enough. Not funnily enough, obviously. But, you know. Besides, I think I know why people think we're witches. Hey! What are you looking at me for? That aside, we have a bigger problem on our hands. That's right. Where do you think you're going, sweetheart, darling? You owe us a big, big bag of clams! Hm. As if you three peasants are worthy of payment. All I wanted was for you to make me a perfect match. But you've all managed to fail me in three different ways. If you're so insistent to get your worthless clams, let these children cover the charge. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Humphrey! Stop her now! Man, kind of turned into me there for a second, lady. Yoo-hoo! I made a report that Sweetheart has been disposed of! Uh-oh. That sounds bad. It's a good thing you asked! I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to hold myself back any longer! Oh! Also, this may or may not surprise you, but Sweetheart had a total balance of zero clams on her. Zero, not a single one! 
which is quite unfortunate, as I am getting a bit hungry. That wench double crossed us! I knew there was something fishy about her. Well, not necessarily. She did say these children would cover the charges. Oh, yeah. In that case, she's definitely paid her due. I guess we didn't really need to, like, digest her and kill her, but which parts of them should we sell off first? Don't be such a brute, Marina. I'm sure she meant the kids would pay us. Not that we should sell them. Alright, darlings. Now be good and hand over your big, big bag of clams. Huh? So, uh, yeah, about that. I'm just curious. How much does she owe you, anyway? Well, let's see here. There's consultation fee, initial fee, setup fee, inspection fee, service fee, cost of materials, warranty fee, disposal fee, shipping and handling, uh, gratuity, cancellation fee, damages, late payment fee. So that brings the total charge to about one million clams. A million clams?! We don't have that kind of money! Well, fuck! <laughs> well, that's just too bad. Humphrey! Seal the exits! I mean, we could just, like, bash them down. Tough luck, kids. You walked into the wrong whale. Someone's got to pay for all of this. I would say desperate times call for desperate measures. Don't you agree, sisters? Ooh, this one is too tall to sell, isn't he, Molly? That's too pretty. Why did I say tall? What the fuck? Too pretty to sell. Well, I like this one. I like the quiet one. He would make a great pet. Don't you touch him! Let us go now! We didn't do anything wrong! You can touch the others, though. I, uh, yeah. Hmm. Feisty. I think you'd like this one, Marina. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess uh, just one will do. Oh, what? Come on, guys! Ah! Hey! Let me go! Guys, you're just standing there! You kids can't pay us in clams. You can pay us with your arms and legs. Kill no! Let go of me! I'm gonna piss my pants! Put me down! Put me down! <laughs> Ugh. The heck he bit me! Yeah, I can be vicious when I want to. I mean, you would have liked it even less if I'd actually pissed on you. Oh, settle down, Marina. <laughs> it's just a little nibble. You'll pay for this brat! Well, now it seems that you've got Marina all worked up. Our little prey is biting back. Uh, guys? Looks like we're gonna have to find a way out of this place. Oh, it's a fight you want, is it? It's been a while since my last hunt. Yes, it seems like our prey needs to be disciplined. Someone needs to teach you children some proper manners. So, like... When did this whale turn into, like, a dominatrix sex dungeon? Um... For prey, you're all way too picky! You don't want to be sold. You want, don't want to be pests. You all should really learn your place. Well, whatever. It's fine with us. There's always another option. <laughs> if you're going to keep resisting, you leave us with no other choice. I'm afraid we'll just have to... Turn you in a chum instead!
Dang, all right, let's pop off with the music. Well. Sorry, I, I mean, I am listening to the music, but I'm also staring at the massive tits in front of me. Anyway, uh, let's go. Um, let's see, what, what, what do we want to start with here? Uh, well, I guess actually, are they one thing? They are one thing. Slime girls are indeed one thing. You know, I thought they were more like, you know, octo- Oh, I was about to say octopussy. Ah, oh, shit. I thought they were more octopus like especially based on, um, Molly over there. Um, but I guess Medusa's more like a seaweed thing. Maybe squid-like is really what I should have gone with. Instead of, <laughs> instead of fucking octopus and shit. Well, uh, uh, let, uh, oh dear, I'm already off my game, thanks for that. Um, well, uh, I guess let's go for the, the mock, the mock combo first, just to lower that attack, okay? Um, Aubrey, sure, just go on with a power hit. Kel, I need you to annoy him for us. And Hero, um, I mean, you might as well go for the smile as well, buddy. But, you know, uh, I feel like Medusa doesn't look much angrier. Oh, a chainsaw! All right. Didn't realize that's what we were going for. Uh, okay, let's see here. Well, now that we've mocked them, um, I mean, let's mock them again. Really reduce that attack. Uh, now we can just set up Aubrey with the uh, with the annoy. Uh, Hero, go for a cook. Although it might be a little bit too late for that, you know. I mean, just get their attack down a little bit more. Can't go any lower. Perfect. Uh, there we go. See, now Aubrey's gonna survive, which I'm not sure she would have done otherwise. 245 damage. Easy peasy. And she's all healed. See? This is just what we do. Uh, so now I guess we're just, you know, exploit them, headbutt, and Kel? Flex on them, baby! Flex on them, Kel! Uh, hero? Yeah, you can just attack regularly. Oh, yeah! Yeah, exploit the hell out of them. Oh, nice. Uh, what's that gonna do? Oh, randomize our emotions? Oh, you should not have made Kel angry. Oh, he is about to unleash hell upon you. Uh, now Amori. Yeah. Amori, I guess just go for an attack. Aubrey. Well, Aubrey keep on headbutting. Kel? It's time to run and gun, baby. Uh, and then let's massage off Kel, because Kel is a glass cannon. My king! Hmm. Kids are more resilient than expected. You know what that means? It's time to get serious! Oh, I'm having so much fun. The girls became angrier. Nice! Well, let's see. Okay, no, it is random. I was gonna say, maybe it's... Oh, no. Well, it's perfect for Aubrey, at least. Oh, nice, a moving attack from Mori. Bonk! Nice, there we go. Kel, back to normal. We can't have you feeling happy, big guy. Um, I mean, yeah, Amori, just keep on going. Uh, Aubrey goes for the headbutt. Kel, charge that flex again for me. Hero. Um, Hero actually needs a cook. It's alright, I'll let Amori feel happy. It's alright. Nice, nice. Ooh, ow, ow! See, this is why we heal Aubrey. That was a lot less than I was hoping for. Um, well, I mean, for now, we will just continue with this. Um, yeah, I, yeah, we'll continue with that. 
there we go. Cook for Aubrey. Okay, let's go! That's my guy! Hey, Medusa? Are you thinking what I'm... No, wrong one. Hey, Medusa! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, sister. I think it's about time to switch things up. Just relax, children. This won't hurt a bit. Oh, the juice was swapped. Ow. Well, time to release some energy, baby. That's what I want to see. And bonk for good measure. Oh no, we lost all our juice! And everyone's- in Oh god, this is quite bad, actually. Oh! Ow! Oh, that's really quite bad. Oh! Okay, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Maybe we should have just finished them off. Okay, well. Ow. Okay, let's do that. Uh, Aubrey? Um... Would you, you, you wouldn't mind, like, uh... Just, just... Healing up Amori, would you? Ow! Oh, maybe you would! No, oh, it's okay, you lived! There we go. Ooh. Man, worried for a second there. Uh, now I assume that Kel and Hero probably have their, probably had their stats reset since they died, uh, which is quite nice. Um, Amori is still faster. Do we have a juice to all friends? Yeah, we sure do. Um, uh, we might as well go Mango. I don't think we're gonna need too much juice. Uh, Aubrey, honestly, guard for now. Kel, um... Kel, I want you to do some team healing. Uh, we've got a whole... No, we've got a couple whole pizzas. Let's go for that. Hero, um... No, okay. It doesn't preempt if we give you that. So, we'll, we'll just go for this, I think. Aubrey, guard. Kel, eat that whole pizza. We're all good. I mean, as long as we don't get crit, I guess. Man, that sure did. Actually, you know, I'm joking. That kind of did hurt, though. <laughs> Yummy mango smoothie. Okay. And now we're all set, I think. Um, I, I, I mean, we're probably going to kill him this turn, right? Uh, you might want to just... Heal up, hero. Um, there, there you go, big guy. I have a chicken thing. Uh, that should be fine. Um, though I am going to blast him with a smile again, just in case, because I think they're probably going to kill Aubrey if they attack her. Oh, no. They're going for an emotion mix-up. Nice. I, I see we're uh, we're divided on these halves of the room. Damn it! That wasn't quite enough. <laughs> um. Well, I actually think we'll probably be fine now. Uh. Yeah, Kel just run and gun him, big guy. Um. Well, I guess we can do this. Why not? Bonk. That's what we want to see, Kel. Oh, just casual explosion. Ow! Actually, it wasn't that big a deal. It just hit all of us. Well, ah, now we can finish it up just how we wanted to. Oh, no, we can't. Damn it, Amori! Shouldn't have crit. Ah, you kids! You're a lot tougher than you look! 
Hmm. It's much more trouble than it's worth. Well, um, hopefully calamari's not on the menu? <laughs> nice. I mean, that was a piece of piss compared to the unbred twins, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <sighs> Man, oh, what's wrong with us? This fight should be a piece of cake. <sighs> Forget hunting out for this kind of nonsense anymore. I'm just going to stick to research from now on. I'm past my prime. Ugh. Well, dolls, it seems you're all part we are all past our prime. If only we were 200 years younger. I don't know. I think you're still in your primes, honestly. I'm not looking forward to looking you guys up later, but you know what I mean? <laughs> my... <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. It, it, it'd just be a little bit weird. Well, to be fair, the fact that they're here at all is also a little bit weird, but... I mean, I guess every game's gotta have some sex appeal, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Not to alarm you all, but I'm afraid my appetite is getting much, much, MUCH BIGGER! Yeah, yeah, Humphrey, we got you. Well, if he'd hungry some clams. Humphrey, not hungry. He is hungry, not Humphrey. <laughs> but, well, I guess that means he could. No? Yeah, alright, fine. Hmm. I'm sure, I'm sure I fed him last time. Besides, I used up all my clams on software for the last job. I'm getting hungrier! Okay, fine then. How about you, Medusa? Well, I, I wasn't expecting to feed Humphrey again so soon. If memory serves me correctly, isn't it your turn to feed him, Marina? Oh, wait, is it? I thought it was Molly's turn. I'm pretty sure it was Medusa's turn last time. Or this time. Whale, whale, whale! It seems you all have run into a bit of a pickle. If you can't feed me, I guess I'll just have to help myself. No! My furniture! I mean... I guess that sucks, but like, small price to pay, right? What are we gonna do now? Humphrey's gonna digest everything! Perhaps we should plan an escape. We've already expended so much energy. Perhaps it's finally time for us to swim with the fishes. Well, it turns out calamari was on the menu. Mm, seafood. Delicious! Humphrey's out of control! How are we gonna get out of here? Calm down, everyone. Let's look for an exit. Okay, uh... Yeah, well, I was... Wait, hang on. There we go. Sorry, just a little bit of a... Uh... <laughs> Well, that sucks. Uh, back up, please, Humphrey. Well, I mean, I can't, I mean, I can't do this, but like, <laughs> I think we're about to get eated. Eh, get out of here, Humphrey. See, I, t I told you guys, we should have just done this before. Because Aubrey's a... <laughs> a power-hungry queen. My friends, may I say you all look delicious right now? Humphrey, stop this! Haven't you eaten enough? You literally just killed three people! Well, four, because I think you ate Sweetheart as well. We promise we'll feed you later. But you can't feed me now! Just let me eat you! Time to feast! Time to feast! Time for you to be deceased! Please don't eat us, Humphrey! We don't want to be eaten! I'm too hot to die! I mean, uh... Uh... We're all too hot to die? Well, it's a little too late for that, isn't it? You should have thought of that before you walked into my mouth! Touché. It's no good, guys. I don't know if there's any way out of here. 
Don't say that, hero! Yeah, we can't let it end like this! Oh, there's no need to struggle, children. Then again, it is always more satisfying when you prepare your own food. Nah, you all just sit still. The preparations have already been made. Dinner is being served. And you're on the menu! Yeah, I knew we shouldn't- oh. Time to feast! Time to feast! Time for you to be deceased! I knew we shouldn't have come inside a monster's mouth. I just realized what I just said. Um, yeah, no, well, I guess I was, like, advocating for monster fucking, like, less than ten minutes ago. But, um... Uh, not that this guy's a whale. These are like actually his taste buds. Let's, um, not for now, okay? Wait, hang on. Ugh. Things are getting out of hand. I I'm losing my cool. <laughs> Monster fucking really just set me off, you know? So come on, let let's let's take this slowly and do this right. Uh, go for it, quick. Attack, drop, you know, we, we, we've got to start all these fights the exact same way. Mock the taste buds. After all, that is... Oh, hello. Ow! I mean, for appearing everywhere, you only appeared in two locations. Um... Well, I would quite like to make you sad, so... Oh, God. Yeah, you have a lot of HP, don't you? Okay, well. Now annoy Aubrey. Heal up, Aubrey. Make him sad. Oh, that's nice, Orbs. Ow! Jesus Christ. He hits like a fucking truck. Let's reduce his defense real quick. Um, Kel, I think you're frankly about to die, but let's, um, lower that attack just a little bit more. Have Kel just flex real quick. Reduce that defense a little bit. Give him big old bonk. Okay. Ah, uh, that's overkill. Okay, well, uh, you can just attack regularly. Aubrey, uh, can still do headbutt, I guess. Um, and sure, Kel, uh, I can't do the, you'll jump to the bottom if you go to the top. You, despite the fact that you don't have the bread phones, you bring Hero back, so then we can, oh no, that just universally works. It doesn't have to, okay. Cool. It just universally works. I don't have to have a Mori use Life Jam for the bread phones to work. That is wonderful. Nice. Although I say this, but, um... Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. He whiffed. Um... I mean, let's, let's see. Uh, we, we need to heal Kel. So let's do that. Aubrey. Go for a little headbutt. Um, and Hero actually... Get rid of the sadness. I lowered his defense, but... It, it, it's seeming to not matter too much. Ow. Final fight has just begun! But can you win if we work as one? I mean... Pro probably? Are you a new thing? Yep, yeah, you sure are, Humphrey Grande. Uh, well... I guess we're just gonna have to do this all over again. So, um... Well, I mean, thankfully, Aubrey's already, uh, prepped and primed here. So it's, it's a little bit easier. Um... Oh, we might want to share food here. Our hero's got that, uh, the need for heals right now. 
bonk. Wonderful Aubrey. There we go. Get a nice bit of healing in there. Ah, you whiffed again, Humphrey. Oh, damn. That did a lot more damage. Um, okay, well, you know what we have to do now. Um, let's flash a good old smile again. Make sure that attack is as low as possible. Oh, yeah. And then we just slow and steady take him out like, uh, like usual. Oh. Yeah. That's gonna continue to hurt. Uh, I guess just go for a power hit. Uh, run and gun and, uh, cook. You know, I mean, we've got to the point where, uh, you know, we, we know what we're doing in boss fights. We know how to smash these guys through. God damn. I'm somehow always impressed with Aubrey. Oh, despite the fact that I know exactly what she's going to do every single time. I'm just, I'm always impressed. You know what I was all like, man, the boss fights in this game since Sweetheart have been like really good. Yeah, this one's not as good. <laughs> You know, I, I just like the ones with, uh, the slime girls. Uh, yeah, that one was all right. Um, no, you know what? No, it was good. I, I like, uh, I like the fact they added a, an emotion manipulation mechanic. Uh, that, that was pretty cool. And the fact that there's three of them, I, I like boss fights like that. I almost wish they were more, like, regular enemies and you had to fight all three of them at once. I, I like boss fights like that. They have to just be a little bit weaker, but um, you know, I like fights like that. But one of the few things uh, I really loved about SMT3 is the boss fight against the three fates because they all have like different roles in a party and you fight them simultaneously. And like, it's sort of up to you what order you take them out in, but obviously like you want to do the healer first, uh, then get rid of the buffer, or maybe you want to get rid of the attacker after the healer. Uh, or, if you're really confident, just go all out on the attacker, and then go for the healer. So, I mean, they all attack you, ultimately, but like, they're primary roles. Just a warning! It's about to get smelly! It's time for you all to get in my belly! Hi, Humphrey. Oh no, I, yeah, we, we just got like actually eated it. Oh my god! Ow! This is gonna be another. Yeah, this is another. <laughs> another thing. Okay. Well, you know what we're doing. Yeah, let's make him angry. Drop that attack. And that defense. There we go. Lovely jubbly. It doesn't matter how quick or how slow. The more you struggle, the deeper we'll go. Oh, uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Oh! Amori! Amori did not succumb. I noticed. Uh, okay, buddy. You're still fast. Well, Hero's still faster, but I'm, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna have you heal yourself, mate. Um, or actually, we might want to go for a full team heal here, I think. Uh, yeah, it's not crazy, and I, I think we're gonna have... Um, hero go for another heal anyway, but, uh, still, this should be fine. See, we're fine. Ugh. Oh, that's what we want to see, Aubrey. We love to see it. Oh, that's not nice. Just relax! There's nothing to fear! Hey, Amori! It's getting stuffy in here! Humphrey, stop! How can you continue to swallow us? This isn't how the human body works! Alright.
Alright, well, uh, we are about to bust out our ultimate attack on you in a moment, so like... You're gonna take a, a lot of damage here, buddy. Um, you know, be, be wary. We're about to release energy on you, and... I feel like I've done this so many times this episode, <laughs> this episode but... You know, you're about to take a, a, approximately a thousand damage, potentially one thousand five hundred. Just one thousand, just one thousand. Uh, then you are about to get headbutted for an extra nearly four hundred damage. Uh, you know, just be wary. Oh god. Cooking me is very fun! Should you be rare, medium rare, medium, or oh, well done! Uh, sorry Humphrey, that one was a bit of a mouthful. Well, I wasn't really impressed with that one. Alright. I just want to go him like halfway. Okay. I mean, it's definitely getting darker in here. <laughs> we are sinking deeper. Um, yeah, we're going to have to, uh, to juice up Hero, I think. So, um, go for another, uh, another team heal. I think we'll be good otherwise. The hero, yeah, you just do that. Um, might want to share food with Kel, I reckon. Oh! There we go. Nice. See, next time doing this, we can, uh, we can release that energy again. Om nom 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 nom. Oh no, I think we're about to get swallowed. No, yeah, but we can do it anyway, I guess. We're gonna unleash! It's pointless to squirm! Give up, my friend! I'm afraid this cycle will never end! Well, I mean, we've nearly got you. You're, you're like half HP. Ow! We are gonna need to, like, seriously heal Aubrey in a second, though. Um... Yeah, just, you know, regular attack. Uh, I guess go for a power hit there. Uh, Kel, just would need you to flex, buddy. Because, God, I can't get enough of you flexing, dude. Oh, yeah! Just gonna release some energy, Humphrey. It's all right. You know, I am curious, though, like... How many people actually come into Humphrey? Because, like, there, there are a lot of bones here. Like, there, there, a lot of people have been eaten. Like... There's no need to squirm! Ignorance is bliss! How many times must we do this? Uh, I mean, yeah, a couple more. Uh, I don't think there's too many we're gonna have to go through. Uh, oh god, I'm gonna... Check everyone's HP. What are we looking at here? Yeah. Gonna have to go another rotation of getting eaten, I think, Humphrey. Um. Well, I think. Mm, I don't know. A whole pizza right now seems kind of a waste. It's not doing that much damage. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do instead is just like wait for the chance to release energy. Uh, basically just heal ourselves. Um, I don't really need that much. Uh, I mean, I do have eight fish tacos. I guess I, can, I, can, I guess we could use some of them. But again, we don't really need that much HP. But, eh, I guess. We've got eight of them. Might as well. Uh, so you nom on that, Kel. Headbutt there. Uh, see, Kel, actually, ironically enough, gonna do an inverse. Uh, you and Amori are gonna romantically feed each other. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll, sh we'll do some share food. Heal up Hero a little bit. Get Aubrey that, uh, get that heal too. Ugh. Heal up again. It's gonna be quite nice. See, good thing we healed Amori. It doesn't matter how quick or how slow! Okay, well. <laughs> We, we've gone through the whole cycle now. I'm gonna swallow everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Om nom 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 nom. 
mean, it is definitely getting progressively darker, but at the same time, you're about to die, Humphrey, so like... Get out of here, you know what I mean? Just go for a nice running gun there, heal Aubrey again. Bong. See, that's just beautiful damage from Kel. We just go out again. I think that this will probably kill him, I think, but... Yay. Feel free to struggle, because no matter what, you'll never be able to escape my gut. Also, that one didn't really rhyme, did it? It's no use. How will we get out of here if Humphrey keeps swallowing us? Like, I, I literally don't understand how it's happening. It, it's biologically impossible, but I guess we're running on dream logic here, so... Yeah, it is what it is. Maury! I'm scared. Why did we get ourselves into this mess? Don't worry, Aubrey. We'll get through this. I wasn't talking to you, Cal! We got out of plenty of sticky situations before. Yeah. Can't give up now. There's just gotta be a way out of here. Yeah, probably. No, Mori, you, you you take the lead here, buddy. Um, I mean, Aubrey, you could probably like bash his teeth in realistically. Oh, hey, Humphrey. Going somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll never defeat me, loser. I mean, I don't know, okay. <laughs> why don't we tickle his uvula? No, oh, damn. I was gonna like, maybe it actually wants me to do that, like come out, equip the tickle skill, and then we can go, <laughs> go like, um, you know, just, just tickle his uvula. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna go too crazy here. We, we, uh, we do need some healing here. Oh yeah, watch me flex on free. You like that? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Learn final strike. Nice. Oh, those two are the only ones who leveled up. Oh, sorry, Aubrey. And hero. If I've learned anything from fighting the nibble snuff, attack the uvula. Oh my god, we're, gonna, we're actually... We, we were genuinely swallowed that many times. Oh, nice! We got the re last required keys! <laughs> well, that didn't go down smoothly at all. Suddenly, I feel so sleepy. I think I'll take a short nap. Humphrey, buddy, do us a solid and just... drown down there. <sighs> that was... a close one. Yeah. Never underestimate a hungry stomach. That was really scary. You know what? At least we got through it together. Too true, Aubrey. So, what do you guys want to do now? Hmm, I'm not sure. Are we looking for something? Wait, didn't Hero mention this before too? Yeah, we were just following Sweetheart, but... The situation seems to have resolved itself. Uh, unfortunately, with the death of a major character, I guess? It's like kind of off screen. Oh, I hate it when stories do that. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure there was something else. Aubrey, you're always worried about nothing. Come on, you should learn to relax and just enjoy yourself sometimes. Well, I guess that's true. I am a little tired of worrying so much. Oh! This is why we can go back to the castle, because Sweetheart's dead. <laughs> oh dear! Oh, that's not where I thought that was going. Mm. 
Oops. One key left. Oh. Well. How spooky. Yay, we finished the hangman. Welcome to Black Space. Yeah, this poor little goober's like mostly kind of dead. How many keys didn't we get? It's only like four that we didn't get. Huh, cool. Past the end of the road in a field of white snow. Well, I mean, we kind of went to a place like that. That seems like, you know, the end of the game. Or, oh, wait, hang on. Past the end of the road. Oh, that's probably Endless Highway, right? Uh, what about the other ones? Beneath a trap door in a lost pyre's flame. Yeah, I, I mean, I figured these would be in Sweetheart's Castle, but... Meh. Cool, so does this, like... Yeah, give us something? Oh, it's Basil's house. Yeah, this place is even worse than the last time I came here. That sounds quite gross, actually. Oh, it's all right. It's just the floorboards falling through. So, like... Do we have to go back here, or...? Is that what we're being invited to do? Or are we suddenly going to get launched into, like, the next real-life segment? Yes? I mean, we've seen this before, you know? It's like a big old, big old mouth last time, just... Om nom nom dus, you know? Stay away. You are not my son. Why? Why won't you fall? Why? Why won't you fall? Well, uh... You know, just a tire swing, you know? Uh, I mean, kind of look, kind of looking a bit like a noose. Uh... I can't really do anything else. Um, oh, I can. I can leave. Oh, cool. So it turns out Dad does exist. But I'm not his son, so... I guess Dad doesn't exist. Ugh. Damn. You have come again to seek the truth. Each time your adventures may be disparate. But as your journey nears its end, it will always lead you back here. The truth. The truth is always the same. What, the Mari's dead? Is that, is that, is that, is that the truth? That my friends are actually doing not too badly. It, Aubrey's doing badly. We, we, we just need to go give her a big, big old group hug though. It'll be fine. The path to the truth was once here. But it has been removed. It was moved to a lighthouse in a pier, then to a library banished deep underground, and after that to an old barn on a distant planet. And this time, it would be in the heart of a vast forest. All oh, right, so all the places we went that like caused us to go back to the real world or wake up, I guess. No matter how many times the path is concealed, the flower boy will always find it. And your dear sister, Mari, she will always guide you to it. 
even as hollow shells, they will continue to evolve. And each time, they will grow wings and fly too close to the sun. It is in their nature. They are the only ones who know. And one has carried it with her to her grave. We're not actually gonna go with, like, Basil killed her, right? Like, that's not... <laughs> We're not actually going to do that, right? Death may be no danger here, but the memories of them do not fade so easily. Many times your friends have met with an unfortunate fate. Yeah, we've been turned to toast a couple of times. Although they are revived time and again, the most haunting stay in the world. In this world. Even if only their bones remain. The long lost ones sink here to the bottom of the deep well and become nothing. You have forsaken them, yet they still yearn for your care. Their souls know nothing but how to scream for help. Do you take pity on them? Mm. This is a banger soundtrack. <laughs> Your dear sister Mari, the bad knee. You could not bear for her to die again, so she was given the safety of a picnic blanket. Yet it is her nature to leave and to protect, and when she does, she will leave you again and be born anew, with the undying soul that you have cursed her with. I mean, you're really going hard on me, my own brain, but like, I don't know, not much to do about a dream. The souls assigned to your friends, they are fragile and must be protected. And so they must remain asleep. Yet, the path to the truth is closer to your most precious room than ever before. Will you be able to bury it this time? Perhaps it is too late for you. Yeah, maybe. I mean, we'll, we'll see, I guess. I mean, that's the difference between a good ending and a bad ending, I'm sure. Alright, well, I mean, we started... And I apparently are gonna end this story sequence with this window. You know of the keys to the other realm. They are different each time. But they will unlock the same door. The end of the, this journey will lead to suffering. But if you do not face this, you cannot continue. This form, though it has not shown its true self, is evil. You will not see that unless you fight it. When your intentions become hazy, they will transpire into this world like a thick fog. You will know when it happens. It has already happened before. At that time, return to where the truth was reborn. To the heart of the forest. And like each time before it, attempt to rewrite your fate. Will you be doomed to repeat this cycle over and over? Or will you break it? Explore the world while you can, dreamer, until there is nothing left. Again, we've already seen this. Uh, didn't need to show it to us again. Cool. Well, I mean, I think you all know what that means. The next few episodes are just going to be side quests. <laughs> and then we can go fight, I assume, Basil, who may or may not be the final boss. Play cards with your friends. I sure do, just to ease the burden of our brains right now. Nice. Good game, guys. 
I'm really enjoying this. This is a good bit of fun. Okay, well, enough of that nonsense. Man, that, that entire... This entire episode was just fights. Kind of fun. Yeah, well, no. It remains that no one is still here. So, uh... Yo, Mari! How's it going? Um... Yeah. We've got one more side quest. And a couple of things to do in Sweetheart's Castle, and that's... Honestly, kind of it. So... You know what? I'm going to... Well, I think we'll go check out Sweetheart's Castle now. That's what we'll end the episode on. And I will... I guess finish uh, Dino Dig... Between... Next... This and next episode. And next episode we can go and fight Basil, I guess? Uh, unless there's any things... You guys want me to do before we finish off. Like, I don't know, maybe there's a side quest that I missed or something and you want me to check it out. Uh, I know I was told there were, like, in the big swimming area, there are, like, islands you can go to. But I went back and there's, like, you know, I tried to go off the sides. There's nothing there. Um, that sort of thing. Uh, so I don't know about that. Um, but yeah, uh... Other than that, I don't think there's much. So, I will pop over to Sweetheart's Castle, and... Then it'll be the end of the episode, and I think we'll be encroaching... On the end of... The dream section. I think. Oh, hello, Basil. Yeah, you can go walk off. We'll see you next episode. I mean, probably. Assuming... Oh, I should probably take care of that too, huh? Okay, well, we'll take care of the garden first. Um, and then we'll blast off to, uh... To Sweetheart's Castle. Okay, maybe we won't take care of the garden. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Okay, yeah, no, we'll, we'll do that next time. <laughs> so, first stop. Buddy, you finished that painting? Seems like yes. Nagas, you have returned. Please admire my latest masterpiece. It's already framed in the gallery ahead. Oh, wonderful. What is it? Untitled by the great artist, artist Rococo. Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? Give me a break. Beautiful. I mean, that that's gorgeous, big guy. Well, are you happy with my masterpiece? Just so you know, as my skills become more formidable, my commission rates will also increase. Fine. Le Magnificent! Please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. I won't disappoint you! Yeah, we'll see about that big guy. Right, and to end this off... Hello. So, Sweetheart's dead. Oh, well... Oh, well, no, oh, maybe that's like a... I don't want to say post-game, but maybe that's like a post-game thing then. Damn. Well, maybe she isn't dead. Um, and we'll see her later in like the end credits or something. Uh, we'll, you will have a great scene of her just like drifting on the ocean on like some driftwood after she gets shat out by Humphrey. I, 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 I don't know. Something's got to happen with that, but, uh, <laughs> well, I guess. Yeah, shut up. So, yeah, uh, 
I guess that's it. That that's the episode. Um nothing else for us to do here. Um I'm just going to have to hit up Orange Oasis again. Uh I guess we'll start next episode finishing up that quest. Uh present for Palmy or whatever. And We will... I, I guess we'll go back and see uh, Rococo again, see if he's finished uh, that painting. I guess then we can also go through uh, the probably final check for the uh, faux facts. Uh, out of morbid curiosity, how close are we to finishing? There's still a good few left. Damn, that implies uh, a lot of... Well, I was going to say a lot of bosses, but I guess if, like, these guys have their own entries, I guess maybe not necessarily. Uh, farewell, uh, Sisters 3. We hardly knew you? Uh, although these two didn't get separate entries, so... Eh, you know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> none of that nonsense. Um, is the end of the episode. Uh, and I guess since the last one before the new year, um, happy 2023? I know it's not yet, but um, it will be the next time I see you. Or you hear me. So, happy new year. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. and yeah, see you guys in the next one. But until then, goodbye.